today we are putting the rapid tourniquet to the test. So I'm gonna put this on, put it on properly, and I'm gonna use this Doppler machine to see if I can pick up a radial pulse. If I cannot pick up a radial pulse after putting this on properly, we know this is an uh, effective tourniquet. At the end of the day, pick what tourniquet that you're most comfortable with and make sure it works 100% because a, a, a tourniquet that doesn't stop a life-threatening bleed it A, isn't a tourniquet at all, and B, it's worthless because slowing the bleed is not what we're after. We're, we're, we're trying to stop the bleed. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and put this on and I'll show you uh, if in fact it does work. So with the rapid, you take the tail, put it through the small loop, making a big loop. I'm doing three wraps, stacking them side by side to get that nice wide band right here. So let's check it out. Let's see if this thing works. First of all, we'll do my right side so you can hear what the pulse sounds like. There it is. Okay, so you can hear that little pulsating sound. So every time my blood is being pumped through my, my artery here, you can hear the little whoosh as it goes underneath the little radar. A little Doppler. So, good on that side. Let's see what, if we can pick something up on the tourniquet side. I'm gonna go ahead and guess by the paleness of my entire arm and the discomfort of it, it's working just fine. But let's see here. Nothing. So, I'm happy with the results of this. I do not, I certainly don't feel anything as far as a pulse in here, but we don't have anything coming up on Doppler. So that tells me this has cut off arterial blood flow. So this tourniquet gets a go. All right, guys, that's it for the rapid tourniquet and checking it out via Doppler. Good to go with this tourniquet. Hey, thanks for showing up, stepping up your first aid game. I'm Billy Haley, helping you stay alive. And this thing hurts. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's real nice. All that blood coming back.